Welcome to another video walk around. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this 2021 Toyota Corolla Hatchback XSE in this eye-catching supersonic red color with the two-tone black roof. This front-wheel drive, four-door, five-passenger hatchback comes equipped with a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine mounted to a six-speed manual transmission. Starting on the exterior with some of the notable features, you've got a very sporty and stylish front end. Thanks in large part to these great looking headlamps, you got the Triple J design there with the LED daytime running lights, and you've also got those big projector beam bulbs there for the main lamps. Just below there, you've also got the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. And you'll also find a really unique grille design, as well as that great front lip and that nice chrome accent there as well. So we come around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the 18 inch alloy rims that the vehicle currently rides on and those are wrapped in the low profile Dunlop tires. And as we continue down, you'll notice the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. And you've also got the black mirror caps there, which perfectly complements the black roof up top. The two-tone design gives it a very, very sleek and stylish side profile. And of course that continues in the rear as well. You've got that nice roof mounted shark fin antenna and you've also got the color matched roof spoiler with the integrated brake light back here you'll also find a rear windshield wiper which is a really handy feature to have and of course you've also got the corolla badging as well as the xse badging underneath there you've got the dual exhaust with the chrome tips integrated right into the bumper it looks absolutely fantastic very very sporty and this vehicle is absolutely loaded with performance and features so let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all the bells and whistles Hopping inside, this sporty hatchback is nice and easy thanks to the proximity smart key system. Though of course you do have your standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob here. And you've also got a really stylish overall key fob. Like I mentioned, it is a proximity smart key system. Simply walk up with the key on your person and put your hand in the door to unlock the vehicle. And when you hop out, you can press those two lines there to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're greeted with this gorgeous two-tone seating. You've got the nice fabric insert in the middle of the seat here, and then you've got this great black leather up top with the very nice accent stitching. You'll find that down the middle of the seat as well as on the bolsters and the headrest there. And of course, just below the driver's seat, you do have the power adjustable seat controls, including your power adjustable lumbar support. And if you take a look in the footwell there, you've got those Corolla branded all-weather mats, which make them nice and easy to clean, regardless of how dirty or wet they get. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at this feature-rich interior. The features inside this hatchback start with the push button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and the clutch because this is a standard and push the button to start the vehicle. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel here, you'll find a very nice design including a nice leather wrapped armrest. And you've also got this glossy black panel that houses the controls for your power windows, locks and mirrors. And just above there, you've got the nice white accent stitching that follows along the door panel there. You'll also find this nice little silver door pull with the glossy black outside and just underneath there you do have a little bit of extra storage in the door panel as well as an extra cup holder and of course you've got the speaker integrated in there as well. If you take a look just to the right of the door panel you'll find the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster as well as the buttons to toggle your automatic high beams, heated steering wheel and windshield wiper de-icers. Take a look over at the steering column here you'll find the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you can get that in the perfect position. And if we take a look just behind the steering wheel at the turn signal stock, you'll notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a very nice set it and forget it feature. And you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at this heated leather wrapped steering wheel here, you'll find a very nice design, including this nice little silver accent piece on the bottom spoke here. And on the left hand side of the wheel, you've got the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster. Although I'll show you what's included in that in just a moment. You've also got the Bluetooth hands-free calling button, as well as on the bottom, you've got the volume rocker for your audio system and the voice recognition button. If you take a look up in that screen there, you'll notice the massive digital speedometer. And in the top left hand corner there, you've got the lane departure alert indicator. And on the top right hand side, you've got the time. On the bottom there, you'll also find the odometer as well as the exterior temperature. In this very first screen here you've got your distance to empty as well as your average fuel economy. Next you've got the screen which will show whether or not you've got your lane departure alert toggled on or off and you can also check the radar guided cruise control follow distance. As you adjust with the buttons on the steering wheel that I'll show you in just a moment you can see it adjust in this screen here. You can also click down to see a compass and as an added little bonus there you've got a little Corolla hatchback in the center. And that's a nice feature to quickly check which direction you're traveling. 
Next, you've got your audio system, so you can check what's playing and adjust it without ever having to take your hands off the wheel or even glance at your infotainment system while you're driving. Next, you've got your trip distance, so you can check your trip distance and time, and you can also adjust that. That is a drive info screen, and I'll show you where to adjust that in just a moment. Next, you've got all of the settings for your safety features, including your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alerts. You've also got access to some additional vehicle settings as well as the meter settings. And in vehicle settings there, you can adjust the drive info that I just talked about. Finally, you've got any relevant vehicle messages or warnings and they will display on this very last page here. If you take a look back at the steering wheel on the right hand side here, you'll find the buttons to adjust the radar guided cruise control follow distance as well as toggle your lane departure alert on and off. And speaking of cruise control, you've also got the cruise control buttons here. And just below, you've got also got the audio mode button as well as the track selector buttons. If you take a look in the center of the dash here, you'll find that tablet style infotainment system sticking up from the center of the dash. And that does include navigation, which is a very nice feature to have. You can quickly check where you are and set your destination. In terms of your other options here, you've got lots of audio options, including your standard AM, FM radio, and you've also got XM radio, as well as a USB input and Bluetooth. And as an added bonus, this vehicle comes with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can easily sync up your device regardless of the type of phone that you have. Of course, if you do have your phone hooked up, you can also access the phone settings as well as the projection settings. And in terms of your info here, you've got lots to go through. You've got the standard eco, so you can check your trip information and fuel economy as well as your fuel history. You've also got traffic incidents, so you can ensure that you're not going to run into any traffic on your way to your destination. You've also got weather here, so you can check not only the three-day and current, but you can also check the weather map, which is a really cool feature. And you can also check the vehicle alert history. In terms of setup options here, you've got lots and lots to go through. There is tons to see in here, including your phone, if you have that hooked up via Bluetooth. You've also got your navigation, vehicle, traffic, data services, and more. Finally, if we take a look into the apps menu here, you'll also be able to access your Intune app suite. And of course, if we put this vehicle into reverse, you'll see that backup camera pop right up. Just below that, we do have a couple of climate vents as well as the hazard lights. And as we continue down, you'll find the dual zone climate controls for the vehicle. This is an automatic climate control system, so if you hit that auto button, you'll let the vehicle adjust the fan speed and heat to get it to your desired temperature. Of course, you can also adjust the temperature independently for your passengers. And you've also got air conditioning for those hot summer days, as well as the heated mirrors for those cold winter days. You've also got a really cool function here called the Eco Heat Cool, so you can ensure that you're not using any additional power to run your heating and cooling system. Just below that, we've got the Qi Wireless Charging Pad, which is a really handy feature. You can turn that on and drop your device on there, and as long as it's equipped with wireless charging capabilities, it'll charge right up. Next to it, you've also got the two-stage heated seats for both front passengers, which is a very nice feature to have in the winter. And as you continue down here, you've got the traction control button, so you toggle that on and off. And then, of course, you've got your shifter here. Like I mentioned, it is a six-speed manual transmission. You've got a nice-looking shift knob up top. And to put it in reverse, you've got the shift collar underneath here. Put that in reverse, stick it all the way over. And just below that, you've got the parking brake. It's nice to have it centrally located here, and it is electronic, so you can just hit that in, and it'll activate your parking brake. As we continue down, you've got a couple of cup holders here. And finally, you've got this nice padded leather armrest, and inside, you've got your center console that includes a nice carpeted bottom, as well as a 12-volt outlet, and you've also got a USB port, so you can be sure that you can keep all your devices charged up. Take a look in the passenger side footwell there, you'll find the same great all-weather mat, and just above it you've got your standard glove box with lots and lots of room inside. If we take a look over at the passenger side door panel there, you'll find the same great design as we found on the driver's side, as well as of course the switch for the passenger side window and the power locks. Finally, if we take a look up top here, you'll find the interior lighting controls as well as the SEOS button in case you ever get into trouble. So let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you've got more of that same incredible two-tone seating with the fabric insert on the bottom there, and the nice black up top with the accent stitching. 
You'll also find the Corolla branded all-weather mats as well as lots of legroom for your rear passengers. Back here you've also got a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat. And you'll also find a tiny little storage cubby in the back of the center console here. You also got this nice fold down center armrest for your rear passengers. It includes a couple of cup holders. It's a nice padded leather armrest. And of course these seats also do fold down in a 60-40 split if you have some additional cargo to store. Simply grab the latch up top here. You can drop the seat to reveal lots and lots of interior cargo space. We'll go ahead and take a look back there, but before we do, take a quick glance at the rear door panel. Got the same great design as we found in the front, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear windows. And as an added bonus, you've got the cup holder up top, which is a handy feature, so you don't have to reach down to grab your drink. Let's go ahead and pop the hatch, and you'll be pleasantly surprised at the amount of cargo space in back here. You've got a nice deep cargo area with, of course, the standard Corolla carpet mats if you want to switch those out. And up top here, you do have the cargo cover to help keep all of your cargo out of sight. Underneath here, you'll also find the fix-a-flat kit in case you ever get a flat. That concludes this short video walk around, but this sporty hatchback is absolutely loaded with features and there's lots that I didn't get a chance to show you. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Leadhead Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.